All right. So here's the deal. I was supposed to go out tonight to an event thrown by Grub and PR for Susie Wong and Kit Capri and Shana Mokler. I have been receiving some emails from Grubman PR, that's Lizzie Grubman's company, for a couple months now, and I hadn't really responded, I hadn't had the opportunity to, but I figured if they're going to put me on their list, I'm going to show up at one of their events and introduce myself to everybody so we can put a name to an email address and have a better relationship. So I responded, put me on the list, plus one, uh, I was going to take my buddy Conscious with me. So I headed to the city, which isn't the easiest task in the world since the event was on the west side. I, you know, I took Metro North in and I had to hop a cab because no taxis go out there. Um, but he conscious came down from the Bronx, so we met up. And there's a line, which is annoying because it was an RSVP only event. And then they started telling some weird stuff to us. You know, first they yell out, you know, if you didn't RSVP, you know, get out of line, you're not getting in. I'm like, fine, whatever. Then they said, oh, our list got out and too many people RSVP'd, if you didn't get a table, we're not letting you in. Which is a key phrase saying, if you didn't spend money, we're not letting you in. I'm like, this is an RSVP only event, and you're a PR company, you sent this to a lot of press. I'm not spending money if I'm press. I'm going there to cover the event. I'm going there to hook you up with coverage. This isn't the other way around. You're not hooking me up. I'm hooking you up. And... To, to deny the press when they're at the door is just kind of silly. So all you're going to do is nothing, right? It's counterproductive. So I went up there, I'm like, listen, I'm on the list. And they're like, yeah, we're really sorry. I'm like, I came from Connecticut. They kind of gave me a look. And I'm like, yeah, we're so sorry. I'm like, yeah, well, I'm going to cover this event whether I'm let in or not. And right now, Grumman PR is not looking very good. This dude got a real worried look on his face and he started to, to open the rope. And I'm like, Point to my friend. And I'm like, yo, he's my plus one. I'm like, oh, we're only gonna let you in. What kind of person would I be? Let alone friend. What kind of person would I be if I just turned to my friend like, yo, man, you got to take that hour train ride back home. Forget that. I told him, I'm like, listen, whatever. You you go have your little event. I'm gonna leave now. And uh, the good news is, I met up with some people. Well, I mean, we met up with one person. I shouldn't say some people. We met up with one person, uh, his name is Carlton Walton, a uh, very cool dude, he was ahead of us in line, had the exact same problem we did. So, we networked with him, very good people, I expect to be working with him in the future, and that is a little silver lining from this horrific Grubman PR experience. Um, let me just tell you, normally, if you're press and you go to a show and you're on the list, you do wait in a line. It's not some magical thing. Oh, boo. No, 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 no. What happens is you wait on your little line. You get to the front. You say, hey, I'd say, you know, my name is Adam Bernard. And check ID. And they say, listen, thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a great night. It's not that hard to do, right? Courtesy. You make, make the press person feel welcome. They let them in. They have their good time. They leave. Sometimes they're gift bags, which are cool. Most of the time they're right. To have the response of, oh, I'm sorry, we're not letting you in. Forget that. Uh, total travel time was damn near three hours because of the train ride there, the train ride back, and the taxi ride. Uh, cost came into the factor. Uh, you don't treat people that way. You either tell them too many people are on the list when you email back and say, listen, thank you for RCPing, but there's no room left on the list. Or when you start seeing emails from people you don't know, you hit them back like, we don't know you. You're not getting on the list. There are a lot of really professional ways this could have been done. Instead, it was done really sloppy at the door. It was very disappointing. And uh, that's all I have to say about that. Because you know what? It's 1.15 in the morning and i got to get up in six hours. Actually, less than six hours. To post a blog post. Because I love y'all. That's why I do it. Adam Bernard. Adam's World. AdamBernard.blogspot.com Shoot, that was my story. <laughs> Peace.